Let's hot dog fork this shit. Hello. So today we are going to make something with a hot dog fork. I'm not actually going to use the fork as a craft supply, but I'm going to use the fork as a craft tool. Uh, as some of you may know, I bought a bunch of these from the dollar store because I thought it would be an interesting challenge to try to do stuff with them. So here is the first craft. I've got my hot dog fork and I've got some yarns. I will show you some more supplies in a minute. And we are going to make these super adorable little knit not even actually knit, just yarn um, circular flowers out of some very simple tools. So, and afterwards, maybe I will go outside and cook some hot dogs with this bitch. Anyway, let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the fork, and we've got yarn. I've just got standard yarn, nothing fancy. You're going to take this. You're going to wrap it around the fork and you are going to tie a knot. I'm doing a double knot so it stays. So there you go. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. From this point, I'm going to pull, push it down. I'm going to take one of my fingers that's holding the fork and I'm going to hold down that little tail. You're going to take your other finger, your other hand and hold it up and you're going to loop this up and over. Loop it up and over. And you're going to continue doing this. You'll get in a little thing. You'll notice that there's like almost like a little stitching on this side. You can continue doing this until you pretty much fill up the fork. very easy. I think they would make really good embellishments uh, for different knitted materials like I had previously said, but I think you can make a bunch of other things with them. Um, they would probably be a fun thing that you could make with kids. It's a very simple project. Um, you could use different forks for different size flowers. I just happen to be obsessed with hot dog forks for some ungodly reason. Uh, recently, I don't know why, <laughs> but um, that's me and my crazy thinking. So I figured, honestly, I thought they would be a challenge. It's really easy to go to a craft store and buy craft supplies. It's kind of harder to, to kind of make up your own thing. So I think that's what I've been trying to do. So I'm going to do it until I get almost to the end. You can see I have a little bit left, but if you go all the way to the end, it has a chance of sliding off. So next, you're going to pull some string and cut it. So you basically got your end. Next, you are going to take your end and you are going to thread it through your darning needle. So there you go. And then you're going to take the fork with a the yarn, you're going to hold it at the end because you don't want this to slide off. And then on the opposite side of the area where the tail is coming from and where you have that set of knots, you're going to slide this along that edge. Pull, and then you're going to start gathering it. Be careful do not to do it too tight because you don't want to break your yarn. And then you're going to take the needle again and go have it go through. At this point, you can pull this off, pull it taut, and take your needle and knot it. So there we go. Then from there, you are going to basically fluff it. So after you're done fluffing, which gives you this like nice circle, you are going to take a button. Make sure the button has nice wide holes because basically darning needles are larger than normal sewing needles. So uh, they won't fit through all buttons. And uh, you just want to make sure it's easy for yourself and you don't you know, start to put one on and it gets stuck. 
So I'm going to pick the side. Um, you have two sides here. You have the one side where you can actually kind of see a little bit more of the loops interacting, and then you have a back side. Um, I just kind of picked the side that I think looks the best. Uh, there's no real rhyme or reason. I just happen to like the one side better. So I've still got my needle and thread attached. I'm going to put the button on and I am going to attach it to the flower. Since this isn't for clothing, you don't have to do it several times, just enough to hold it on. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this off again. And then you can trim off the excess. And there you go. You got a really simple hot dog fork yarn flower. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed it.